Thank you for watching Dream Spree Studio Yoga. Please like and subscribe to my channel to get new yoga and meditation videos each week. Hello, my name is Shannon. Thank you for joining me today for this 25 minute balancing flow. Good for beginner to intermediate students. Settle into a comfortable seat. Float your eyes shut. And we'll begin to focus on our breathing. Anything that may be bothering you, anything that you've been concerned with, just let that go for the next 25 minutes. If you would like, set an intention for your practice, something to bring your mind back to in case it begins to wander, and just continue to focus on your breath. Open your eyes, come over into all fours, get into a tabletop position, and we're going to begin to do cat and cow. So inhale up, cat stretch, exhale, cow stretch. Make some intuitive movements with your shoulders and your hips, and just continue to do cat and cow. Do the flow of your inhale and exhales. One more round of cat and cow, and then come to a neutral spine. On your next inhale, push yourself back into your first downward dog. Begin to pedal your feet. You can move your heels up and down. Just start to get a good stretch into the back of the legs. On your next inhale, look in between your hands, step or jump forward, rise all the way up into mountain pose, hands overhead, and bring your hands to heart center in prayer. I'm going to step to the center of the mat so you can see what I'm doing. You don't have to move. Inhale your hands up again, and exhale down, put your left arm to the side, right arm over to the left side, look underneath your arm, Stay here for three breaths. Inhale back to center, both arms reach overhead, and exhale down. Go back over to the right side with your left arm overhead. Look underneath your elbow. Rise back up to center, move your hands out to a T, you can move your feet apart a little and just start to swing from side to side. And continue breathing along with the motion to start loosening up your spine. Come back to center with your hands out and into a T. Stretch your hands behind you just like I did in front. Push your chest forward and your neck back. Don't strain to get a nice pec stretch. Release your arms, shake them out. Rise up overhead and then fold forward, grab each elbow with each hand, and just hang in ragdoll. You can shake out your neck, just let gravity help stretch you forward. Release your arms, rise all the way up, to tall mountain and bring your hands to heart center. Now we'll take our first vinyasa, arms overhead, exhale down, halfway lift up, exhale back down, step back into chaturanga. I'll be demonstrating the beginner chaturanga pose. Come down to your knees into tabletop, push back into down dog, down into tabletop, 
back up into down dog, advance chaturanga pose, come into plank, push back into down dog, pick whichever one is best for you, we're doing this three times, so that was one, two, three, move along with your breath. And push back into down dog one more time. Look in between your hands, step forward. Inhale up, exhale down, rise all the way up. Hands to heart center in prayer. Pick your right leg up, hug your knee into your chest. Hold this pose for three breaths. Release your leg. I will be moving to center to demonstrate the next pose. You don't have to move. Bring your right foot to your ankle or to your thigh, never to your knee. Rise up with your hands to heart center for tree pose. Hold this for three breaths. Bring your foot back down to the mat. Option for this next pose to use a strap if you need it. Pick up your right foot, put it into the strap. Hold the strap with your left arm. Reach behind you for a twist. You can balance that way. Or if you do not need the strap, grab your right big toe stretch it in front of you reach to the side for a twist that way we'll be here for three breaths release your right foot inhale up overhead exhale down into chair pose bring your hands to heart center twist over to the right for a twist in chair pose hold for three breaths On your next inhale, reach forward into chair, then rise all the way up. Exhale down to the floor, halfway lift. Exhale back down, step back into chaturanga. Take whatever variation you need to. Push back into down dog, forward into plank. Move along to your breath. Back into down dog, back to plank. back one more time into down dog look between your hands step or hop forward halfway lift exhale back down rise all the way back up hands to heart center in prayer we're repeating the flow on the left side so pick up your left leg hug your knee to your chest hold this pose for three breaths Release your leg and bring your foot to either your ankle or to your inner thigh for tree pose. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll hold this for three breaths. Exhale your foot back down to the ground option to use a strap for this next pose put your left foot into the strap hold it with your right arm extend your left arm behind you hold this pose for three breaths or grab your left toe with your right piece fingers and extend your left arm behind you hold this for three breaths
Release your leg back down to the ground. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, sit back into chair. Bring your hands to heart center. Twist over to left side in prayer. Hold for three breaths. Inhale back into chair, rise all the way up into mountain. Exhale down, halfway lift. Exhale back down, forward fold. Step back into chaturanga. Push back into down dog. Plank. Back into down dog. Just move with your breath. Plank. Back into down dog. Forward into plank, push back into down dog, look between your hands, step or hop forward, inhale, rise all the way up into your mountain, hands to heart center. We're repeating the flow, so bring your right knee up to your chest, hold it for three breaths. Release your leg, bring your foot over to your ankle or to your inner thigh for tree pose, hands to heart center for three breaths. Release from tree pose, bring your right foot in front of you either with your strap or with your hand. Reach your right arm behind you for a twist Hold for three breaths. Release the foot back down. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, sit back into chair. Hands to heart center. Twist over to the right side. Hold it for three breaths. Inhale, bring your arms in front of you in chair, rise all the way up. Exhale, down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, back down. Step back into chaturanga. Inhale, back into down dog. Exhale, forward. Back into down dog. Just go with your breath. Exhale, forward. Down dog. Exhale into plank, back into down dog, look in between your hands, step or hop forward, inhale all the way up into tall mountain, exhale your hands to heart center in prayer. Lift your left leg up, hug your knee to your chest, hold the pose for three breaths. Release the pose. Bring your foot either to your ankle or to your inner thigh for tree pose. Hands to heart center for three breaths. Release the pose. Grab your left foot with your right piece fingers or a strap. Reach behind you with your left arm. For an additional challenge, you can look behind you. Release your foot back down to the ground. Inhale, hands over head, sit back into chair. Bring your hands to heart center, twist over to the left. Hold. Face forward, reach all the way up. Exhale down to forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down, step back into chaturanga. Bring your knees down to the floor and sit all the way back into child's pose. We'll be here for five breaths. As you sit back in child's pose, enjoy the sense of calm, balance, and peace.
on your next inhale, push yourself up into tabletop and then back into down dog. Look in between your hands, step or hop forward. Inhale all the way up into tall mountain, hands to heart center. Come to the center of your mat, put your arms out into five pointed star. Turn your right foot out, bend over to the right side. Option to stay here with your elbow on your knee or you can choose to take a block or you can come all the way down to the floor Whichever one you choose, look underneath your upper arm. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale back to center in five point star. Spin your left foot out and bend over to the left side in whatever variation for three breaths. We're going to begin to flow one breath per side. So inhale up, exhale down to the right, inhale up, down to the left. Just continue to flow with your breathing. And last round, back to center, and back to center. Begin to pedal your feet a little closer together, flat back forward, grab both big toes, inhale up flat back, and exhale down, pull yourself down with your elbows out, let your head hang. Release your big toes, pedal your feet together, inhale all the way up into tall mountain, exhale hands to heart center. Spread your feet about hip width apart, come down into yogi squat, option here to sit on a block if you need to, or just stay in a squatting position, hands to heart center in prayer. Hold this for a few breaths. We're going to begin to play with Bakasana or Crow Pose. Step to the center of your mat so that you have plenty of room and just begin to rock forward and back on your hands in yogi squat. And as you rock back and forth, play with the pose. Perhaps pick up one foot or both feet and rock back. And make sure that your knees are above your elbows. Use your core strength to try and pick your feet up and balance. And maybe try to pick up both feet and hold it as long as you can. If you stumble, that's okay. The importance is the effort in trying. As you come back down into yogi squat, sit back on your bum and bring your feet in front of you. Inhale both arms up overhead, exhale down into forward fold. Try to fold forward a little more with each exhale. If you need a strap here, please use one. slowly rise back up to center. Bring your left knee up. Bring your left arm behind you. Inhale your right arm overhead. Hook the elbow over the knee and look behind you for a nice twist.
release your twist, bring the right leg up, left arm up, hook it over the right leg, and look behind you for a twist on the other side. Release the pose, come down onto your back with your knees bent, clasp your hands underneath you, press your hips up into bridge pose, hold for a few breaths. Exhale back down. Option to go into bridge pose again or a full wheel with your hands to the sides of your head and push straight up into the air. And release yourself back down to the ground. Pick up your feet, grab the sides of each foot, rock from side to side in happy baby, giving your back a nice massage. And give yourself a big hug because you did a great job. And release everything into Shavasana. Feel your weight heavy against the floor or ground. Feel that you are supported and safe. Feel the calm and balance of the moment as you enjoy Shavasana. On your next inhale, begin to deepen your breathing. Start making some small movements with your hands and fingers, your toes, maybe some circles with your wrists and ankles. Stretch your arms and legs out long and roll over to one side to come into a fetal position. On your next inhale, push yourself up, come to the center of your mat in a seated position, close your eyes, and scan your body. See how it feels differently from when you first began your practice. See if you have achieved a deeper sense of calm and balance. Bring your hands to your heart center, open your eyes, the light in me honors the light in you, namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today, I'll see you next time.